When on track with a Mazda RX-8, the most important thing to consider is your temperatures. This is a solution to all track RX-8 temperature problems. The ultimate track RX-8 on your track. So here's what I'm thinking for this. I will make an under tray that directs the air from the front bumper grill into the radiator to maximize cooling. It will also do something similar for both of the oil coolers. In addition to this, I want to see if I can open up a channel that allows air to be pushed towards the brake rotors to reduce temperatures while braking on track and minimize brake fade. The material I'm going to use for this project is this 5052 alloy and it's 08 thick, which is two millimeters. And I've got right here a four foot by four foot sheet. So I'm using 5052 because it's easy to work with, easy to weld, it's strong, lightweight, and also it has really good anti-corrosive properties, even more so than 6061. I'm going to be TIG welding it up with my Lincoln Electric Square Wave TIG 200. And after messing around a little bit on the welder, trying to get the settings right, I think I'm going to be using about 85 amps, about 68% balance, and then about 135 hertz. But um, after more welding, that's subject to change. So let's get started cutting out this aluminum and getting it welded up for this under tray. Here is the ultimate cooling track under tray, finally finished. The welds on this aren't great. They don't look great, but they are strong. I did move them around a bunch and I think it's gonna hold up to the track environment, but I guess we're gonna have to see when we bring it on track this summer. It was difficult because this was actually my first time welding aluminum um, and I'm new to TIG welding altogether, 
but I think it'll hold up. When I looked into doing front cooling air ducts as a part of this under tray, I couldn't really figure out a way to fit it in, but I left an opening here, so if I wanna add it in later, I can. I originally wanted to run air directly onto the brake rotors, but after fiddling around and turning the wheel a bit, I couldn't figure out a way for it to work. So I'm probably gonna have to direct air inwards and then push it out off to research a little bit, see what other people are doing, and then maybe incorporate that into this under tray. When I get to the track this summer, I will let you guys know the temperature changes with all the new cooling stuff like the radiator, the AC delete, and with this under tray. We'll see how my temperatures are compared to last year when I didn't have any of this, and then we'll see what improvements we're actually getting from all of the stuff I've been doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.